So I'm still up in um, New South Wales, a place called Marmarang National Park. I'm going to do this new South Coast walk. Um, they've developed, um, I'm doing it as a day walk though, so it's going to be a solid day, about 35, 36 k's I think. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's going to be a sensational day, so hopefully I'll fit in a swim. All right, um, I'll catch up with you when there's something to see, I suppose. So yeah, fairly impressive trailhead. Got an information board over here. It's not far. So obviously this is me. And that is where I'm going. And that's what I'm looking at. Decent swell. So, I've hit this beach pretty well at high tide. Looks like I've got to get around this headland here on the rock shelves and the, the waves are coming up a bit so it could be the first uh, feral bit of the water. Anyway, we'll battle through. Um, doing it as a day walk, you're going to get some of it at high tide. So, low tides for about two or three this afternoon I think. See how this goes, eh? What could go wrong? Okay. It's a fairly decent swell coming in, but I think I'm going to be all right the bits that I can see. Not a great deal of room, though. So this little uh, piece of paradise is an island beach, according to my map. Okay, that's the first beach done, that's island beach, or maybe the second. If you count the first pretty beach, which I dropped down onto. That'd be the island, I guess, out there. I've just swapped my my cap for a floppy because it's already getting wet, uh, warm, and I think it's time to put some sunscreen on too. Okay, so I've hit my first boardwalk. even a seat up here. I think the seats will come in handy by the time I uh, get down to Maloney's Beach this afternoon. It's 
So those little kangaroo icons are obviously the track markers. So that beach is, uh, I think, Dawson, Dawson Island South Beach. I've just trudged along there. So even though it's high tide, it's actually not too bad walking on these beaches. They're reasonably firm. Wow. Anyone else thinking Wilson's Prom? So I mentioned the prom before, and there has been bits that have reminded me of the prom. Uh, that little bay with Snake Bay that I'm walking around now, it's a lot more subtropical there though. The, the um, vegetation and obviously the climate. So that's uh, Snake Bay South. Progress is still being made. It's a stunning day. An absolutely stunning day. So I've been seeing a few goannas. Haven't been able to get a photo one yet. This guy's a bit skittish too. He's a decent size though. There he goes. So that one is Little Pebbles Beach. Okay, I've made it to Pebbly Beach. Obviously you can drive to this one. So I've just um, crossed Pebbly Beach. Coast is getting a bit skinny here, so we'll see how we go. Let's see what's around this corner. Yeah, this is looking a bit skinny. 
according to the map, I'm in the right spot, but I'm betting there's a track on top of these cliffs. However, I'm gonna have to get over there to scramble up to it. I think. Okay, well, I'm around that one. Let's see what, uh, what else it's got in store for me. The only thing working in my favour here is the tide's on the way out, not on the way in. Yeah, we're sweet. Um, Depot Beach coming up on. Okay, well, I've, <clears throat> I've walked from that beach over there around the coast. Got pretty, uh, pretty skinny at times. Looks like I'm heading across this inland, in, inland though. Okay, I'm walking around uh, through Depot Beach at the moment. <laughs> Climbing over this headland. <laughs> I have to colour that sky's coming out on video, but it's amazing today. Okay, back in the bush. So I'm dropping down to Darras Beach now. I think I've got a bit more beach walking coming up. I might even have an inlet I've got to get across here somewhere. Have a, I better have a look at the map, I guess. It's still fairly high tide, so if I'm wading it, I'll possibly be swimming it. Okay, we have our first challenge. This is the outlet of Darras Lake. Now I gotta get across there. So that green water there, halfway across, that's a deep bit. I'm thinking out there, where the breakers are a little bit, it looks a bit shallower. I'll, uh, I think it's time to get rid of the shirt though. And probably put the phone away for this one. I'll, um, See how we're going to get to the other side. I'm halfway across. I'm on a shallow sandbag at the moment. It's um, it's got to about waist deep so far. I just got this bit in front of me now.
Doris. Next beach will be Cookies Beach, apparently. So I'm just walking, climbed up to go around this headland, find this road. That's my next beach, that's Cookies Beach. Gotta work out how to get down to it. Okay, I'm back on track. Got my uh, shoes back on. Reapplied the sunscreen. I think, from what I can tell from the map, I think that was the last of my big beach walks. I am heading to a, a, some bolt hole little beaches though, so um, when I get a little bit closer to Maloney's, I'll probably pull up at one of these beaches for a swim. I don't want to walk too far covered in salt, but um, I can walk for an hour or so. All right, this is stunning through here. I bet you the roos love this. I was pretty right about the rooms and the wobblies in there. I can see why they love it. Nice soft bed of casuarina needles. Sea breeze, views. Fuck, I wouldn't mind sitting up home here. So this is Emily Miller Beach. I'm going to walk around here over that platform halfway and then climb up the other end, I think. Hopefully, uh, those people swimming there know what they're doing. So this little beach down here is Dark Beach. I don't know if you can tell the sand through the video, but yeah, it's definitely darker than the rest of me. Okay, that was uh, Myrtle Beach. Obviously the clothing optional part of the coast, judging by the clientele. This little uh, stump here will do me for a rest, I reckon. So that's my next beach. That's Richmond Beach. I'm out in the headland here at the moment. I'm not sure of the name of the headland. So I've just trudged my way along Richmond Beach. I'm heading towards Oakey Beach now.
that um, Honeysuckle Bay. The next one I get to be North Head or it's North something. So it's about um I suppose about quarter past five I guess. So I've been going since uh, at nine this morning, maybe quarter to nine. So it's been a solid day. Still thinking I'm going to stop for a swim somewhere. I reckon I've got about oh, no, six k's to go. Okay, so I'm just walking around North Head now. And then I think I'm gonna drop down to North Head Beach. And that might be the time I drop the pack for a while and have a swim, I think. So this is um, North Head Beach. I've just stopped and had something to eat. I might, um, there's another beach a little bit further called um, Outrigger Beach, apparently. So that might make it a little bit less distance to walk with salty clothes. First of all, I've got to trudge the length of this beach though. Whew. Okay, time to climb again. So this is um, Yellow Rock Beach. I got two more to go, including Maloney's, which is where I finish. It's not Outrigger Beach, that next one. It's, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I don't know how I got Outrigger. Oop. I'll let you know when I get there what it's called. Been a long day though. Stunning day. Well, that hurt. I'm at the end of a, well, the tail end of a 35k day, and I walked down to that headland down there. I miss this track here. It's one thing I found on this track. You gotta watch where they leave the beaches because they have these kind of, I don't know, meter signs. But sometimes they're a fair way off the beach. Alright. I've just talked to Sam. My Uber's on the way. So the revised plan for a swim is to head to Maloney's and have a swim at the end. Um, that way I don't have to walk with salt all over me. So, I called this one Outrigger Beach. It's Curiga Beach. I got no idea. What I have got is one more beach to go. Uh, 
Okay. One more headland, I think. What a beautiful way to finish off the walk. That's my last beach. Time for a swim. So that uh, big mob of water is Bateman's Bay. Baloney's Beach is kind of a suburb of Batemans Bay from what I can kind of understand. Okay. Last obstacle. Staircase from hell from what I've heard. Fuck. Fuck, after 35 k's. Sun goes down on another very feral day. Okay, that was a solid day out, 35.4 k's. You can hear the kangaroos hopping through the bush. The kangaroo icon is very appropriate for this walk. I've seen, you know, if not a hundred, tens and tens. Um, this is a really nice walk. Um, the track's really good. So many stunning beaches you go past. And um, yeah, every one of them. You know, I'd like to stop and swim at if the weather was good. I had time. I think I might come back one day. I've got a friend that lives up here. So I might come back and we might spend a few days walking this one because it's a, um, a stunning track. Certainly. I certainly enjoyed it a lot. It helps when you get a magic day like I had today too. All right, I'm um, heading off now, home for a shower and a feed, or back to Batemans Bay for a shower and a feed anyway. All right, I'll catch up with you next time.